Hey everyone, uh, doing something a little different here. Uh, reaching out to the YouTube world in a different way. Um, many of you might know me, many of you might not know me. Uh, I do have another channel here on YouTube that has a, a little bit of a subscriber base, but is completely unrelated to what I'm doing here today and what I'm going to continue doing with this channel. Um, in the midst of this whole uh, crazy MCU kind of situation with the Marvel movies and shows and the WandaVision and all this stuff that's been going on, it got my kids interested into comics. It got me interested again in comics. And it sparked something in me that hasn't been... Uh, I don't know, uh, really that, you know, pulled in, pulled out of me for quite some years. You know, I was a really big, uh, comic collector, really big uh, into the whole industry. I, I love the business. I love the way it worked. I love the stories. I loved a lot of the stuff that, um, the comic hobby had to, to offer. And just like a lot of people over the years... I tend to not necessarily lose interest. Uh, I needed to refocus. Obviously, life comes in place. You know, responsibilities. I got married. I had kids. I had to focus into other different things. And this whole new wave of interest into comics has sparked that ignited that spark again in me um there's a lot of things that i feel that i left incomplete and one of those things are i was planning on putting together a comic book years ago and you know because i got distracted because you know responsibility doing the right thing, making sure that I take care of everybody around me and uh, doing the best I can to, to support and help my family. I needed to actually, you know, go towards things that, uh, that you know, really um, were going to put food on the table instantaneously and not just on a dream. And so I had to put my dream on a back burner. And for that reason... I feel like I, I have in, uh, unfinished business. And, you know, eventually it's going to come out who I am. And the people that are viewing are going to figure out who I am. And they'll know that I did pretty uh, well in the sector I went into. And they'll realize that I'm not the kind of guy that kind of likes things unfinished i kind of want to you know basically get myself back into um the role of completing i'm a completionist so what's going to happen now in this channel i'm going to start from scratch i've got some thoughts i got some notes that i went through uh my kids actually inspired me. They went through some of my old sketchbooks, and I'll show them over over time on this channel, like old sketches that I did, concepts, ideas, and kind of go through the whole process. And I basically want to go um, from beginning to end the old school way of creating a comic. So basically, I want to put together the comic from pencils to lettering to inks to uh, coloring all through my own self and I want to try to do it all by hand use computer as little as possible 
do it the way they did it in the 60s, do it the way they did it in the 70s, uh, give it an old school feel. And, you know, as you can see, uh, right now I'm doing a sketch, and you can see me doing a lot of sketches throughout time here. And I'm not the greatest artist. I know that. I, I'm, I'm actually... I struggle to say I'm, I'm even mediocre. And I'm not, I'm not too proud to say that that's the case. But, you know, I'm, I haven't drawn in quite some time. It's been a while. And it's, you know, you know drawing, penciling, it's a skill that really needs to be worked on over years in order to develop and to, you know, master. And obviously, I got a lot of catching up to do. So, I'm going to rely on anybody watching the videos, some tips, some some things. But I'm going to be getting myself back into drawing shape as much as possible. And I have a goal right now with this whole project. My goal is not to put the most beautiful comic book out there that exists. Because I'm realistic and I know that I'm not the greatest artist out there. And I don't believe I could put the most well-written book out there that exists. Because obviously, I've never done this before. And I think i got to go through, through some growing pains as far as uh, my writing skills are concerned as well. Lettering, I've never even attempted in my life. Inking, same here. And... Coloring, I'm terrible at. But I'm going to do the best job I could possibly do as far as putting something out there because I've got ideas that have been brewing in me for years. And I think that there's an audience out there that will appreciate the type of concepts and the type of thoughts that I have into putting together a well-structured comic book and putting together a story that's been lacking for many, many years. Giving it a style that's been lacking for many, many years. And hopefully people will like what I have to put out there. Uh, the goal is to self-publish. Put a series out there that hopefully people will really appreciate be able to generate enough funds from that initial print run, that initial series, where maybe it will get other artists, other writers that are more established, more talented than I am, to want to work on the book with me and possibly put a much better, more refined product out there that people will appreciate. I don't want to put something that's super high glossy and super high expense for people. I want something to be affordable, something that people could enjoy, something that parents could get for their kids and be happy with. Well, I don't know. Some of the material I'm going to be going over is not going to necessarily be so kid-friendly, but at least older kids can afford to pick up a book and be able to enjoy it and read it and not worry about destroying it and you know I'll be mindful of the whole hobby thing and make it cool for everybody but at the same time I really want to go for quality and enjoyability and have a story that people will really embrace and want to read the next issue on I think that's the most important thing to do out there I really do it's it's a really it's a really really tough uh, sell for me on a lot of the issues that are out there because ever since I got myself uh, back into the hobby, I've been trying to read a lot of stuff out there. And first of all, I'm lost because when you don't read books for fifteen twenty years, a lot of things have changed, and that's understandable. 
But at the same time, I don't know. There's not that many books out there that really got me pulled in. Um, if somebody's listening and watching this uh, video and you want to give me some um, guidance towards what I should start reading that's relatively e easy to gravitate without having to pay hundreds of dollars to get a first issue that just came out two months ago because that kind of craziness is happening too. And I'm not actually understanding what the hobby's uh, accelerating to. You know, back in the days, we knew how to grade books by calling them fine, very fine, uh, good, very good, near mint, et cetera, et cetera, that kind of thing, poor. Now you got to slab things. That's changed the whole industry as well. And I'm getting back into that as well and understanding that. And in the in this uh, series of videos I'm going to be putting to, uh, um, I'm also going to be um, showing people how I'm getting back into the hobby and starting to relearn and relove the hobby itself. I've been watching a lot of YouTube videos out there uh, from a lot of creators that have been um, really helpful as far as at least giving me um, some insight of where the collector mindset is. Obviously, that doesn't really mean a lot to me as far as what other collectors are doing because you know if you're a collector it only matters what you're doing uh to you and your own personal collection but in order to help have a healthy uh collection you're always going to have to um you know buy books sell books and you know trade them and that kind of thing and have the hobby itself fund itself to some extent so I have to be mindful of what the trends are as well if I'm gonna do this right way it's gonna be fun I mean I've just started going through comic shops for the first time in years with my son and it's been a blast I feel like a kid again I feel like I'm you know my son's 14 I, I feel like I'm 14 again for the first time in years and it, it's a really really fun experience so you know, th that's my goal. I really want to give people my own personal spin on storytelling through my art, through my writing. And again, I'm going to really rely on the community to help me, guide me as far as some tips, some help, um... I would love to hear some insight on places to be able to self-publish. Um, ideally, it would be great if I could get this channel to somehow get monetized in order to possibly get some uh, funding uh, for the book through the channel itself. But I'm not going to depend on that because I, you know, I have another channel that's got quite quite a good uh, audience and that's not going to be enough to, to be able to really, really sustain and and to be able to self-publish. But every dollar helps, I guess. Uh, I'm going to avoid doing any any kind of Indiegogo or um, uh, GoFundMe unless I absolutely have to. And I'm going to avoid that as much as possible. I'm going to try to go through all the methods of how to be able to get people to get interested about the book and to be able to um, uh, send it to them directly once once we actually print it and that kind of case. But we're, like I said, this is going to be a whole comic journey. And that's why I named the um, channel Comic Journey. Because this is my new journey of relearning this business, relearning the hobby, relearning um, the love that I once had for this industry and hopefully people can appreciate it and understand what I'm where I'm coming from you know, the character I'm doing right now has been a character that you know I came up with a few years ago not exactly refined I'm actually in the process right now of refining this character to try to get out some of the glitches and you're gonna see some of this going on uh, during the the different type of uh, streams and uh, videos that I do, 
in order to kind of work out the kinks and you could go follow along if you tell me like a, like this guy over here i'm not gonna give you names or what what the reason is of why he looks like he does or uh the storylines but i'm gonna you know show some glimpses of what i'm working on without revealing too much without giving too many spoilers and give everybody my progress lines and again i'm going to be really really thankful to any advice i get you know if you think what i'm doing sucks feel free to let me know it may or may not influence me uh because just because people say things suck doesn't mean i'm not going to you know I may or not agree to them, but at the same time, I'm going to be mindful if it's critical advice. Um, but we'll see. So if you're watching this for a first time, um, well, it's got to be the first time because this is the first video. I really hope that you uh, like, subscribe, and give it a chance and see me work out all the kinks and follow through this journey and hopefully it's a great experience not only for myself for everybody that's been following it and um, I'm gonna try to do some stuff that is like cool for the uh, subscribers and that kind of thing so everybody that sh that that's liking the video and commenting from this day on I'm gonna keep a log of and once we hit some uh, milestones, like 100 subscribers, 1,000 subscribers, etc., etc., as we get closer to those milestones, I'm going to reveal uh, certain type of giveaways and that kind of stuff. Maybe I'll give out some original art that I'm working on. Maybe I'll give some personal comics for my collection. Um, I don't know. We'll see as it comes through. We'll see what the audience likes. We'll, kind of, we'll see what kind of audience we pick up. Um coming in here if i get any audience maybe i'm the only one talking to myself on youtube here and that'll be cool too you know at least i'll have a documented uh video log of everything that i'm working on right now and i hope that you know inspires other people to do the same things you know um artists out there i really would appreciate anything you could offer out to us uh, to me in advice I've been watching David Finch's stuff. Uh, he's great uh, at what he, what he does. And he's great at describing uh, his methods. It's really good. Uh, and there's a lot of other people out there like that as well. And uh, as far as the people that are teaching me of how this industry works, I'll um, make a couple of mentions. Comic Tom. Um, it's got a really different approach from what, I, what I'm used to. And um, really helpful as far as giving some insight. Uh, Jim Mint is another one that's really helpful. Uh, I've been uh, doing the auction circuits as well. Uh, Metaphorical Comics is a really good uh, auction site as well. I'll do a couple of videos of some unboxings and stuff like that that I won from those sites. That'll be pretty cool. And um, yeah, we could uh, just you know go through this together. I know there's a lot of other people that have been watching and I've been um, did I probably didn't mention, but like right now I'm just rambling on and just saying everything I you know, came to thoughts, and I am going to start this journey, and love to see you all join me going forward. Thanks. Don't, 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 don't,